Well, you literally waited until the last minute and Halloween's here. The problem is, you've got nothing for that potluck. Stay tuned, we've got some Halloween snack hacks coming right at ya. Let's kick it off with the infamous Halloweeny. Take some ordinary hot dogs and make them look like gruesome fingers in just a few short steps. You'll need hot dogs, ketchup, buns, an onion, and just a little string cheese. To pull this off, cut your hot dogs in half or just cut off one end. Carve out a small slot to fit our fake fingernail in, and then make a few shallow cuts to make it resemble finger joints. Cut out a small piece of onion to be the fingernail. Toss the wiener fingers and onions in boiling water for a few minutes. As they boil, the fingers will bend slightly. Once you're done, Put them in buns, add a dab of ketchup to the end, and place your onion right on top. For extra credit, carve out a small hole and insert pieces of string cheese to resemble a bone. Now just add a bunch of ketchup along the severed end, and you're left with some bloody Halloweenies. There's only 365 days left until next Halloween. Actually, 364. Right. That means we gotta find Jack. Push some lollipop sticks into the cream filling of several Oreos. Once the stick reaches the other side, reinforce the cookies to ensure their stability, and then lay the Oreo pops onto wax paper. Melt some white chocolate according to the directions on the package, and then dip the Oreo pops in. One at a time, of course. Tap off the excess and place them back on the wax paper. Stick them in the fridge for about five minutes, and while you wait, cut strips of black ribbon and tie a bow onto each popsicle stick. For the final step, use icing or an edible marker to draw Jack Skellington's face on the front of each Oreo pop. And what's this? The most popular snack at any Halloween event. Nice work, Bone Daddy. Why won't a witch wear a flap cap? Because there's no point to it. If you're looking for a quick and simple Halloween treat, look no further than these witch hats. You'll need some cookies covered in fudge, Hershey's Kisses, and some frosting. Lay out your cookies with the fudge side up. If you're using white frosting, mix in some food coloring to get that perfect hue. Carefully add a glob of frosting directly in the middle of each cookie to act as glue, and slowly place an unwrapped kiss over the top. If you want to add a buckle, either use yellow M&Ms or cut the yellow part off of a candy corn. Place it along the frosting ring in Hocus Pocus. How about some black cat Oreos? You'll need a black edible marker, M&Ms, chocolate chips, and frosting. Use a spot of frosting to attach green M&Ms to the Oreos for eyes. Dip the bottom of the chocolate chips in frosting and place them near the top of the Oreo for ears. For the nose, you can use pumpkin sprinkles or a smaller candy. We cut up a few candy corn and rolled them into flattened circles. Once again, use a bit of frosting to hold the noses in place. With the edible marker, draw the pupils of the eyes on the M&Ms. You can mix the eye colors or design these however you want. Now if your goal is to disgust your guests, look no further than earwax q-tips. Simply take a lollipop and push a mini marshmallow onto each end. Repeat this step as many times as you wish to fill your platter. To create your gooey earwax, either unwrap candy caramel and microwave for 10 to 20 seconds or use warmed up creamy peanut butter. Now dip each end of the marshmallow q-tips into the melted goodness and carefully place them on wax paper. Now transfer your earwax q-tips from the wax paper onto your platter and either serve with a q-tips box or a sign calling out exactly what they are. Those scanning the snack table might be disgusted at first, but if their ears are clean, word of mouth will travel fast, and that delicious platter will be empty before they can go back for seconds. These bones are made with pretzel sticks, mini marshmallows, and melted chocolate for that perfect mix of sweet and savory. While you wait for a double boiler to simmer and melt your chocolate, stick the marshmallows onto both ends of the pretzels and form a bone. As soon as your chips are melted, remove them from the heat and dip each pretzel in the chocolate and lift them out with a fork. Lay the bones out on wax paper and either refrigerate them for 30 minutes or just let them harden at room temperature. Arrange the bones on a platter and dress them all up for added effect. If you're looking for a quick and inexpensive treat, give these vampire donuts a try. All you need are donuts, frosting, candy eyeballs, and vampire teeth. You can use just about any ring donut, but keep in mind the bigger the better because you want to insert plastic teeth in without ripping the donut apart. Now just add candy eyes with frosting, or push chocolate chips into the donuts for eyes. These monster vampire donuts are perfect for a Halloween party or a classroom treat. These jack-o'-lantern water bottles are as simple to make as they look. All you need is a Sharpie, orange duct tape, and a water bottle. Remove the labels from the water bottle and note their length. Now tear off some orange duct tape, roughly the same length, and wrap it around. You can get creative by using black permanent marker to draw faces on each new label. This is probably the easiest, cheapest, and healthiest last minute holiday party solution imaginable. Fruit is often overlooked on Halloween, but bananas make for great ghosts. Just cut a banana in half or even fourths. Poke mini chocolate chips in the banana for eyes and a regular sized chocolate chip for the mouth. If you don't carve out small holes first, the chips might pop out and need reinforcement. You can even try citrus pumpkins. Simply peel some clementines by hand and add a small piece of celery to the top for a stem. To make apple monsters, carve out a mouth, add some pumpkin seeds for teeth, and then glue 
on some candy teeth with frosting. That's basically it. Because you're dealing with a fruit that browns quickly, perhaps this one truly is last minute. Now this last one's a bit more elaborate, but the results will leave your friends in total shock. Add a six ounce package of raspberry or grape gelatin powder into a large bowl, and then add three one fourth ounce packages of unflavored gelatin. Bring about three cups of water to a boil and then pour it into a bowl. Then stir until the gelatin is completely dissolved. After letting it cool, blend in three fourths of a cup of whipping cream. Now add about 15 drops of green food coloring and whisk some more. Now the fun part. Get some flexible straws and bundle them all together with a rubber band. Now place them in a tall, slender container with the flexible side facing down. Slowly and carefully pour the mix into the straw holes until your container is full. Now place it in the fridge to chill for several hours. In the meantime, separate some cookies from the cream. Mini Oreos work great here because they're much easier to separate. Now just finally crush them up and you're gonna make yourself some fake dirt. Once your gelatin's firm, remove the straws from the container and dip them in water to clean off any excess gelatin. Firmly hold the end of each straw and slowly squeeze the worms out of the other end. This can be a tedious process, so the more help you have, the better. Next, add the worms to your Oreo crumbles and mix them together. To make it more convincing, add an aluminum container to form your can of worms platter. These earthworms look so real that your friends will be freaking out thinking you got them fresh from a grave. If you just can't get enough of these snack hacks, be sure to watch our previous video for nine more last minute party treats and snacks for your Halloween gathering. As always, thanks for watching and tuning in to Household Snacker Spooktacular number two. We'll see you next time. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos just like this.